five minutes for an opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. The United States has long led the world in innovation and entrepreneurship while continuing to maintain the highest environmental and labor standards in the world. This leadership has not been the result of top-down government knows best. It's been the result of free market principles and an entrepreneurial spirit that is uniquely American. Our energy resources have enabled America to reduce emissions more than any other nation. This is the legacy we should be proud of and build off. Energy and Commerce Republicans have been working hard to do just that by advancing policies that protect and expand American leadership for generations to come. The Biden administration, on the other hand, has been advancing policies that threaten this legacy. These actions are putting America on a dangerous path. They're driving up inflation, killing manufacturing, and handing control of our future to China. The EPA has been the center of this agenda at a time when more than half the country is at an elevated risk of forced blackouts, the EPA has been finalizing new power plant rules that will shut down the types of electric generation needed to keep the lights on. Policies like their new PM 2.5 standards will jeopardize manufacturing and jobs across the country. There are a hundred more examples of harmful policies and regulations like these coming out of Biden's EPA. When taken together, these efforts raise prices for Americans and open the door for China to replace American production and further pollute the environment. Today, the subcommittee will explore yet another of these harmful regulations, the EPA rule that will massively expand risk management plan RMP program requirements. The truth is everyone in this room wants American factories that operate responsibly and ensure communities across the country are safe. We also want those same communities to thrive and for people to have access to good, reliable jobs. Under the RMP rules, we've seen significant decrease in accidents over the past two decades. EPA's own data suggests that there was a 70% reduction in annual reported incidences between 2004 and 2020. And 97% of RMP regulated facilities reported no accidents at all between 2016 and 2020. But under this new RMP rule from the Biden EPA, it will force American manufacturers out of business or force them to move their operations overseas. If the rule itself wasn't bad enough, President Biden's EPA limited the comment period, preventing the public and businesses impacted from being able to weigh in. So today, we're gonna pull the curtain back and learn more about the risk of this new rule. The Clean Air Act, requires RMP rules to be reasonable. And as we will discuss today, the EPA's new rule fails to meet that simple requirement. Instead, this rule will again raise gas prices for people across the country, which have already increased an average of 57 cents this year, $1.25 since President Biden took office, and in my state of Washington, they're even higher. This new rule will only add to the pain. Americans are already feeling at the pump especially as we head into the peak summer travel season. The cost of essential goods and services will also rise as a result of the changes to RMP. It will harm refineries who will be forced to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to comply. These impacted refineries account for 40% of existing and operating U.S. refining capacity. Water utilities, manufacturers, agricultural retailers, pulp and paper products, cold storage warehouses, all could be forced to spend significant amounts of money to comply or face shutdown. Instead of undermining American economic success, let's work together to build on our remarkable legacy by embracing America's tradition of balancing economic and environmental leadership, which helps lower costs for Americans, create jobs, and will prevent us from becoming even more reliant on China. Thank you to our witnesses for being here today. I look forward to the discussion. Yield back. The gentlelady yields. The chair now recognizes the ranking member.